So this is uh, Guild War versus Talentless. So we fight them a lot actually, and uh, this is preseason. I think they're they're rank one right now in preseason. I think they're gonna aim for rank one potentially or top three when the real season starts. Uh, I think right now a lot of a lot of guilds are taking taking a break. Uh, this is one of the forts, one of the forts, and uh, no immunity on the entire team. So Spectani Spectani became pretty pretty good here. Uh, although the rose is really fast, um, like maybe two, 280 speed, it's really fast. And then the the little queen Charlotte is like hits really hard as well. I went with Rue well on this one, knowing that uh, little queen Charlotte will do the splash damage. This is after her dev buff. We'll do the splash damage if he hits a dark, um, and in that turn cycling, my ox also was too fast, so I couldn't, you know, preemptively put the invincibility onto ox lots. Otherwise, I would have did that and then forced her to S3 Ru well. So it did some splash damage. It's pretty good, um, but I I went in knowing that that could be a possibility. Therefore, the Ru well. And then now uh, with ox lots under invincibility, uh, Ru well is the target. And without uh, Little Queen Charlotte's S3 available, which turn cycles really quick, it's not super, super difficult to outcycle it. Um, now the attack buff is gone, and then Spectani is getting stronger since Oxlots died once. And then we already have a dead, uh, so stacks twice the, uh, the passive. Still hits hard there, does a lot of damage. Uh, I think most most LQCs are now built on high high attack over crit damage, just in favor for the splash damage. Uh, put this heal up with the with the barrier, nice and thick. Still did a lot of damage, and this was the last turn. She would S three on this one, so uh, no matter what, I had to I had to kind of like kill her here. That was it for that one. And this one was kind of fun in, as well. Uh, I did not know the speed tuning for the team too. And uh, so I bought my uh, Remnant Violet, which is a 255 speed. And because uh, if you go C Dom here for the extra push, then Celine, don't know what uh, EE she's on. She could have like killed either C Dom, could have killed my primary damage dealer, which I would have gone with a Cleaver if, if it was C Dom at Politica. Uh, but Tempest Serene is pretty good on this one as well. I think I'm, I may have misplayed if I think about this. Uh, and Tempest Serene of course has the lowest HP and defense. So uh, she'll be prime target for Celine. Uh, no Alexa's basket proc, she is on Alexa. Uh, this would have given me a bit more health, it would have been nice. I didn't crit the Basar, which is actually incredibly low rate. Um, it's 90, 98% crit rate on T Serene. But, uh, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, a bit more, a bit more HP heal, I think yeah, this would have been a bit better. Tempest Run is still the lowest health, broke the skill null. And this Celine now with the two turn, there you go, there is Alexa. Um, two turn uh, evasion. So... I don't think I know. I don't think I could have played this a bit better. I, I don't think I could have played this better. Tempest Rune is a really good uh, bait, especially versus squishier teams, non-sustainable DPS teams. She's very good for offense. Guild War that is. Mm, that's it for uh, Loptis. The second one versus Q Bay. Q Bay is also one of the forts that were still standing when I was. Uh, when I was awake to do this, uh, JK say cleave this one. Uh, as I was scrolling through the Discord, saw that this Kron was on RNL. Um, I don't think it's on a counter, but uh, it's on RNL. I didn't strip the immunity here, sadly. And uh, and apparently that got a lot of people, like the the RNG. But I, I felt that it was pretty safe. But knowing that it was on RNL, I uh, brought Ruel again. Ruel's so good, man. I, I swear, like, sometimes we say, like, ML5s are not that influential. But the, the more I do, like, 
any PvP, the more you start realizing now that that's fake. ML5 is a huge influence. I mean, you see, most of my fights here are ML5, and not because I'm flexing ML5, it's because they're literally the best heroes to bring in these situations, at least that I can think of. I mean, you could do it another way on this one. You could like tank it with Crow, Momo, and stuff like that. Um, but uh, it just knowing that I'm just using a Ruel that I recently got and it was the win condition then uh then yes uh, ml5s are pretty broken this one was uh decently slow uh falcon artillery but really high effect um and then uh the charles seems to be on a speed set low hp but it hits hard uh i went with this team because i was like i kind of wanted to play with the rng it's really bad to throw rng on your side if you're watching this you kind of knew um, it's really bad to rely on RNG for you. Um, it always works on defense team. You guys seen my videos. Charles always popped off, but in this one, my Charles actually did pop off, so it's good. The uh, the Aureus, my crowd was cutting it close there. I was hoping that I could have gambled some of the effect resist, but it was a slowish clearie, but high effectiveness. Paid off there. That clearie, that was a holy sacrifice, Charles, there for this Angelica. And then my Charles just did all the work. <laughs> for once, for once Charles actually did something for me on offense. I haven't used him in a long time. And then last one is Stronghold Pepe. Um, I usually hit him if we fight talentless. Because he is usually like a gear check. Um, this one is preventative aux slots. He does have a really fast brome in there. Um, again, ML5s. ML5s. If it wasn't for RB, this one wouldn't be so easy. Um, my RB here is built with 5.1k attack, 290 crit damage. Alexa's got lucky here. I, I did proc it. The Selene was not on immunity, so uh, odds are I could have stunned her with Tywin, even if my RB didn't kill them. And then the uh, Tywin is good counter to Broman. And F Maya is just on Elbrus. Was supposed to do some damage. She didn't do anything there, to be honest. But whatever. And then uh, Team Two, Pepe has really good speed gear. Um, so it's like he usually get a lot of wins, especially with people who cannot contend the speed because he packs RNG with speed with high damage on his DPS. Uh, this one, the Remnant Valor didn't get lucky. It was on a portrait. It was on portrait. It hits hard, but it was on portrait, so the 50% miss didn't happen there. So that's pretty much it for Iggy versus Talentless. Again, this is in preseason, but they are rank one right now, and I think they're holding their I think they're holding their fort. No pun intended. Pretty well. I'm gonna I'm gonna end this for the video recording. If you guys have Discord, check out the Discord server. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to YouTube if you haven't. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.